To be completely honest, these are the only lipsticks that I really want to use right now. This is such a unicorn lipstick. Ask and you shall receive. In the comments of my last video where I tried a bunch of new drugstore makeup, so many of you commented asking me to swatch the new Revlon Super Lustrous Glass Shine lipsticks and here we are. Now I did make an oopsie in that video. I said that I had the entire collection. I was under the impression that I did, but I had no idea that this collection is actually huge. There are 25 shades. I have seven to swatch today. So hopefully you'll still get a good idea of whether or not these will work for you. We'll get into swatches in a second, but first if you're new here. Hi, my name is Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. So if you did see the video where I tried these for the very first time, my first impression was overwhelmingly positive. This formula is a dream. Mm. In fact, I really do feel like this is such a unicorn lipstick. It's an in-between of a lipstick, a gloss, and a balm. I feel like this is just going to look good on everybody. So even though though these look like your typical run-of-the-mill lipsticks, they apply so wet and shiny, they really feel like you're swiping on a gloss. You get a very cushiony, balmy feel. There is hyaluronic acid, aloe, and rose quartz in the formula for intense hydration. So let me get into swatching the shades that I have and then I'll give you some more details on who I think these lipsticks are best for and who I think should skip them. All right, first up we have a shade called Sparkling Quartz. Now this is actually a clear shade with very very fine shimmer to it. It doesn't look glittery at all. In fact, you can hardly tell that there is shimmer to it. Next up, I have Glossed Up Rose, which is a medium rose pink. This is a good neutral pink that'll definitely match a lot of looks. Next up, we have Fire and Ice, which is a beautiful glossy red. Now, this is one of the bolder shades, but it still is a bit translucent, so it's not gonna go on opaque. And this is a blue-based red, so it's gonna make your teeth look whiter, and it's gonna look great across many skin tones. This next one is called Cherries in the Snow. It's sort of a berry red. It definitely has those pink undertones to it. I absolutely love this next shade. It's called Rum Raisin. It is a beautiful, neutral, sort of mauve shade with purple undertones to it. This is very close to a Your Lips But Better shade on me. It is very natural looking with my skin tone. Next up, we have Glaring Coral, which is the shade that I'm wearing throughout the rest of this video. This is probably my favorite shade that I have from this collection. It is such a perfect coral. It doesn't lean to orange or pink. It's right in the middle. And finally, we have Dazzle me pink, which is sort of a bright Barbie pink. I don't think there's any better way to explain it. Again, another bold shade that you can definitely get a lot of color out of, or you can just apply it in a thinner layer for a tint. So these lipsticks could not have come at a better time for me because as I've mentioned in my past couple videos, my lips have been in really bad shape and I have realized why. With all of the stressors going on in the world right now, I have developed a nervous habit of rubbing my lips together and last week I actually rubbed my Cupid's bow raw. So putting on lipstick has been really challenging for me recently. But even with chapped and busted lips, these look gorgeous as well as actually helps them with that moisturizing formula. Now something to keep in mind is that because these are sort of a fusion between lip gloss, balm, and lipstick, they are not the most long lasting formula. Imagine yourself wearing a lip gloss, you know that it's going to transfer because of that wet finish and these act the same way. Now when it comes to application, you do want to keep in mind that the glassy finish is not transfer proof. So you don't want to bring the color too far in on your lips because it will end up on your teeth. So after application, I usually do the thumb trick where you just stick it in your mouth and then pull it out and that will grab any product on the inner portion of your lips that would have ended up on your teeth. Just like this. <laughs> I do notice sometimes that some of the bolder shades will leave just the slightest stain behind, but it's not super strong. So this is a lip color that you'll probably find yourself reapplying throughout the day, but with that reapplication, you're also getting the balm benefits. So it's sort of just like reapplying lip balm. It's a lot easier to apply these than your typical lip gloss with a wand and doe foot applicator. You do not have to be precise with these. So they're very low maintenance in that regard and very convenient for on the go. Now I do wanna point out one major 
con that I have actually seen other people mention in the reviews of this product, and it actually has nothing to do with the formula, but the packaging. These lipsticks come with the most difficult and obnoxious label that keeps them closed. Now on one hand, that does make me feel better because nobody is gonna be in the drugstore peeling that off to swatch these. I have to really twist the top to get the label to loosen up, and once I am able to peel it off the tube, I'm left with a very thick and sticky residue all over it. And then that holds on to other makeup residue in my drawer. If I drop it on my floor, I'm gonna end up with cat hair all over the tube. So I am gonna have to get like a Goo Gone solution and rub down all these tubes. Otherwise they stay sticky and I hate that. Now one thing that I really love about this formula and why I would grab these over any other type of shiny finish lipstick is that the color does not bleed or feather. So even though it is a very wet and melty formula, you're not gonna find it melting outside of your lip lines. So if you're into really comfortable lip products that are gonna give you a very flattering wash of color, these are for you. If you don't wanna worry about touching up throughout the day or you want something that you can set and forget, probably not. But lately, these are the only lipsticks that I've been wanting to use because they are so comfortable. They still give me a pop of color that accentuates my look. They are super dry lip friendly, and I just like the look of a glossy finish for the summer. Tell me your favorite shade that I swatched in the comments below, and do you think that this product would work for you? Today's shout out goes to Lindsay. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next where I tried a bunch of new drugstore makeup from NYX, Hard Candy, and Revlon. I'll see you over there. Bye! Bye.